Hey guys, welcome to Grampy Land. I uh, just wanted to do a little tutorial, sort of a beginner's guide, on how to play uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator and kind of get you off to a good start and some of the tricks and tr things that'll help you. Uh, so anyways, let's jump in. Uh, I'm going to create a new profile here. Uh, I would pick realistic. Uh, normal's fine, but there's some icons that you're probably going to get tired of uh, pretty quickly. So let's make a dude, call him the Hook. It's a great fishing name. And uh, we'll pick that guy. Uh, tutorial screen, you probably should go run through the tutorials because I'm not going to skip ever or do everything. Um, but let's go right to fishing. So uh, you're going to get the uh, starting lake, Betty Lake. Uh, later on as you level up, you can hit these little side arrows and go to the other fishing areas like Betty Lake Winter, uh, Powell Lake where you can ride the boats. Uh, there's several choices. So anyways, we'll go back to you our lake, Betty Lake Winter. Uh, if you want pick multiplayer, there's some there's some good chat and everything, and the, most of the people are pretty cool. Uh, not a lot of fish griefing going on out there, so not yet. This game's not that popular. Once once it gets the uh, battle royale fishing mode, it'll probably it'll probably be out of control. But till then, it's pretty chill. So you're going to start at the lake here. Uh, you're moving around with WASD. Um, and if you hit escape, you'll get back to the menu. Um, and then you hit the map icon. You can go to directly to spots around the lake. Um, I like fishing over here at 3. It's uh, you got some pretty good vantage point. There's a little fish right there. Um, you can kind of get out on this point and not gets kind of caught up. Uh, sometimes the fish will get in the shore and it's a little hard to reel them in. Um, so back to escape and uh, you'll get your equipment screen which is this uh, tool or uh, tackle box I guess. Um, and you can see on the right here all your equipped gear. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is that your hook that you come with um, which is this KUB OT E75 um, and it'll show this little icon up here that you own it and it is equipped. Um, comes at the smallest size and this hook is an 8, 6, 4, or 2. If you mouse over it'll show you from biggest to smallest number 8 down to 1 and then you got 10, 20, all the way up to 12 o is your largest hook. So it starts at the very smallest size. You're not going to catch anything decent at all really with that. It's too small. So I would I would scroll your um, hook up to like a two, number two and then click equip and uh, that'll change your hook size. I didn't learn that for a while. Um, you also start off with the basic fly. If you click over here at any of these items it'll bring you to that shop spot in the uh, in the shop where you can quickly upgrade uh, you know your line, your reel, your float. Um, so we've got flies. Flies and maggots are fine on this lake. You're gonna catch pretty much anything um, I've done some fishing down here. You can do the red worms or the artificial eggs, but the the, the flies and maggots are pretty cheap and pretty effective. Um, if you buy uh, like a group of flies, let's say we buy, I don't know, three or four flies, um, you equip them here. I guess I've got 33 flies. I don't really need to buy any. You start with a bunch of flies. So equip them there. Click over here and it'll auto equip after you uh, catch a fish. Um, the next thing to learn is your float over here has, um, if you click on the float, it'll say it's optimal weight. So this is a two gram of lead and uh, you can change the weight amount with this slider to, to bring it deeper. And the, the lead is in your other screen other down here if you wanted to buy more lead weight. Don't really need it at this point because our float is a two gram and we already have two grams. Uh, the other thing is you can extend the length of the line below the float um, and that's also um, dictated by the float type. So we're I'm gonna bring it into somewhere in the middle here. Uh, so those two things will really help you catch some bigger fish off the bat. Uh, so we'll go back to resume and I'll show you the next thing as uh, we cast out here. Uh, there's a good spot. You see that rock there? It'll, Look at all those fish. They're just so hungry. Um, there's a rock there and where that orange dude is. 
we're going to throw our line kind of between that. There's sort of a, a fish highway that they seem to swim down through there. And so I threw my line out. In the uh, bottom right corner, you can see there's that little icon is my uh, real speed, which is R and F. That means R is you'll reel faster. F means you'll reel in slower. Uh, when I first cast out, I like to keep it slow. And then uh, your mouse wheel will change the tension and drag on your reel. So at 100%, there's going to be no feed. If the fish tugs on that line, it's not going to move. And that's going to increase the chances of breaking your line. I've, I don't think I've ever used 100%. Uh, so when I cast, I like to go about 33. Oh, we had a strike. I didn't even know it. Um, so let's throw back out there. And so I like to cast, have the, the tension at about 33, the real speed kind of slow. And uh, I usually like to bring it in a little bit from where it landed. I think the splash might scare the fish off. Um, and it's hard to see your float. So if you hit Z, <clears throat> you can get a little zoom in there. And I can just see it out there. So what you're going to do is you're going to wait for that nibble. If you don't get one right off the bat, maybe move it in a little bit. A couple reels. The reason I like to go slow is that it's less jarring in the water. Okay, I think we're getting a nibble. It's kind of bobbing. So when you get a strike, you hit the right mouse button and you'll set the hook. So now we can start reeling this guy in. Um, I'll bring the reeling speed up to, you know, about two thirds. And then with the right mouse button, you can pull back and tire that fish out. And you see when it goes red, he's really tugging. So we're going to fight him in, fight him in. And uh, there we go, we got a fish. So that's not bad, that's a good first fish. Um, so I like to grab experience uh, early on and uh, instead of selling it for cash. And I'll show you here, your experience tree, you actually have skills in this game. Um, let's see, you got lower prices, ice auger, strength, experience, and use boats. Um, and then what is it hunter vision where you can see fish better and then it kind of repeats you got the same things for level two and level three of those skills and i i assume they're going to add more later on as the game develops i don't know um so i would i would go for experience and then i would pick up the uh, more experience skill first then lower prices and then go for strength and then um once you start getting up to about level three or four, you're going to really want to start upgrading your gear. So that's about when I would switch over to um, the money. So you can you can start upgrading your gear, and um, you know line strength is very important because as you start fighting these bigger fish, they they're going to snap your line if you don't have better if you don't have a better uh, fishing line. Uh, bigger hooks uh, bring them up to you know some of these number. Uh, one zeros, uh, six, seven, eights. You start once you get up to level five or six. Your sixes and sevens will help catch you some bigger fish. Um, so, anyways, that's probably all you really need to know for some of this basic stuff. That's um, really help you get going. All right. Well, good luck and good fishing. <laughs>